Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this 3D map view using one of the plugin in QGIS. So let's get started. So I have my QGIS interface um, clear here and now we can start opening the data. So now here, this is the shape file that I have downloaded in Arin of the figure ground that I'm going to use, which is um, the Melbourne CBD figure ground. So I have a video showing how to get this data from Arin and I will link that in the description box below. So here, after I have, uh, after I open my figure ground map, um, and you can see that the projection is not quite right. So I'm going to fix that first. So here I can choose this. Um, this is the projection that we use in Australia, as you can see here. Click OK. Now you can see that it's showing from the right projection now. Um, so we can start by um, opening this plugin. So this plugin is called QGIS23JS. So if you don't have this plugin, you can go to um, this and then you can just um, look for that plugin and just install it to your Crest. Um, so once you have installed that plugin, um, you can um, open that and we'll, we'll see. Um, th so they have the interface of the preview on the right. And then um, on the left side is the layers option that we can kind of control over what we want to show in this interface. So now um, to see this map in the interface, um, I'll have to check in. So this layer here is the one that I have in my QGIS. So if I zoom in um, and then if you click on your um, left mouse, um, you can kind of like uh, change um, the uh, the view of your map and see the height. And we can see that it still doesn't have the height. And we want to see that um, height of the buildings to make it a 3D map. So to do that, um, we can double click on here. And then we can see this object type. And we can click on that. And then we want to choose this extruded. So now we can see that it has enabled this height. Um, and then on the height option here, um, we can see a certain height, a certain number as the height of this building. And if I click apply straight away, it will extrude the buildings, but all of the buildings is extruded on that height. Um, so you want to make sure that the data that you have will have the correct height in the table attribute of that layer so that we can extrude these buildings based on the height in real life. So to check that, you would have to go back to your um, layer here in the QGIS and then you, if you click right and then you click on the open attribute table, you can see that this data so the good thing about our RIN is that it has all the data that we need. So it has land use, it has um, height average. So we can kind of like utilize a lot from this data. Um, so you can see that it has height average, which is um, the height of all those buildings in real life. Um, so it means that we can use this um, variable and we can um, apply that to this um, plugin um, to see the height in the right projection. So if you click on this, we can see all those um, data that it has from this layer and then we can choose the height average and then we can click apply. So now after you click apply, you can see the right height of those buildings. Um, and you can see that one of those buildings is showing the minus 9999 heads. And I have explained this in the previous video where in Arin, if it doesn't have the average head data of that building, it will show as minus 999. And we can see that in our model. And um, this is 
obviously we want to ex exclude this from our 3D map view. So to do that, um, go back to your QGIS layer and then again you double click on that and then it will show you the layer properties um, that we can edit for the, the symbol and stuff like that and I will show you how to utilize this as well on our map but right now we want to go to that source tab and then in the corner here we can see that query builder so this feature here in QGIS we can use this as an expression um, to show what kind of like um, data that we want to show in QGIS so for example in this case uh, because we have problems with that height we want to um, filter that out from our map so we can see here this is the fields of that um, variables that we can kind of modify and then we can see the height average which is the one that we want to filter we can double click on that and then here in the filter expression we want to say that um, let's show all the buildings that have a height of greater than zero so it will effectively um, kind of filter out all of those minus 9999 buildings. So we can click on this and then just type 0. And then we can click OK. And then we can click Apply. And then OK. And just like that, it filters out all those minus 999 buildings. So now our model is clean. So as you can see, um, now we have our 3D buildings model. Um, it's a quick way to do it in QGIS. As you can see, you just have to make sure that your data, that your figure grand data that you use here has um, that building heads in the table attribute that you can use in this um, plugin to show the buildings in the correct heads in real life. So you can um, see that now we have that 3d map view and then you can also save this as an image file that you can then use for your project and then another trick that i want to show you here quickly with this model um, you can enable this flat plane which is going to be the plane of um, this map and then you can see that this is a white plane and if you want to use like a map view on this plane it's also quick in QGIS because um, it, as you know in QGIS you can um, have you have these XYZ tiles uh, which is if we track one of the tiles up into our interface it will um, automatically show that um, sa Google satellite at the right position as the figure ground that we have so because we have the figure ground in uh, Melbourne CBD um, the the tiles will also show exactly where these buildings are so if you if we go back to our plugin here uh, we can see that um, in our 3d model it has the plane of of the satellite view and then you can also change this color of the buildings so now if we have that planes that satellite planes we probably want to have a more lighter color of our building to show the contrast so we can see now um, that our buildings um, is how it shows on the map in 3d so this is um, one of the many advantage of using QGIS because in QGIS you can easily have um, the satellite view and the geolocation of this data um, that we can utilize and create a very cool 3D map view with the satellite plane. So that's it. That's how you create this 3D map view and how to utilize this um, plugin that we have in QGIS. And I hope that this video will help you. Thank you for watching.